James Earl Jones' net worth is estimated to be around $45 million although Jones has enjoyed a long and illustrious career as a stage, film, and voice actor, he is perhaps best known today for lending his voice to the character of Darth Vader in the original Star Wars trilogy. James has won numerous awards throughout his career, including three Tony Awards, a Grammy Award, and an Emmy Award. Jones has remained very active in the entertainment world over the decades and continues to be a prominent figure. Star Wars Salary Debacle When James Earl Jones was contacted with an offer to voice Darth Vader in 1977's Star Wars, later renamed A New Hope, he was skeptical about the film's potential. Although he was offered a percentage of the film's gross earnings, he elected to accept an upfront cash payment for his voice role. He ended up spending a couple of hours in the studio recording his lines, and he was paid a total of $7,000 for his time. For James, this was a great deal, as he was strapped for cash at the time and needed money to buy groceries. To put things in perspective, $7,000 in 1977 is the equivalent of about $27,000 in today's money. However, a cash payment turned out to be an extremely ill-advised decision on Jones' part. As everyone is aware today, the Star Wars franchise went on to become one of the most popular films of our generation, and the 1977 film grossed over $775 million, not adjusting for inflation. This made it the third highest grossing film of all time. So what did all that mean for James Earl Jones? In short, it means that he lost a lot of money. We're talking tens of millions here. In contrast, Sir Alec Guinness elected to accept a percentage of box office earnings as part of his contract, even though he too was skeptical about the film's potential. To date, this decision has resulted in payouts of over $95 million for his estate and heirs. This gives you an idea of what Jones missed out on. James Earl Jones accumulated his wealth primarily through his successful career as an actor. He has appeared in numerous films, television shows, and stage productions throughout his decades-long career. Some of his most notable roles include voicing Darth Vader in the Star Wars franchise, portraying Mufasa in Disney's The Lion King, and starring in films like Field of Dreams, The Hunt for Red October, and Coming to America. In addition to his work in film and television, Jones has also had a prolific stage career, earning critical acclaim for his performances in various Broadway productions, including his Tony Award-winning role in The Great White Hope and his iconic portrayal of Troy Maxson in Fences. Jones' talent and versatility as an actor have led to numerous accolades, including Tony Awards, Emmy Awards, and a Grammy Award. His successful and enduring career in the entertainment industry has undoubtedly contributed to his accumulation of wealth over the years. Additionally, like many high-profile actors, Jones also earned income from endorsements, voiceover work, and other business ventures. James Earl Jones made his Broadway debut in the late 1950s in the play Sunrise at Campobello. For several years, he took on a variety of roles for stage, television, and film. Jones was active in the Shakespeare in the Park program, appearing in one of its first productions in 1962, and in 1964, he gave a tremendous performance as the title character in Othello, going on to play the character numerous times. In 1963 Jones picked up his first Emmy Award nomination for his performance on the TV show East Side Slash West Side. The following year, he played Lieutenant Lothar Zog in Stanley Kubrick's war satire Dr. Strangelove, starring Peter Sellers and George C. Scott. During the mid-60s he also starred in two soaps, Guiding Light and As the World Turns, portraying doctors. On the stage, Jones had a career breakthrough in 1968, he starred as boxer Jack Jefferson, a character based on real-world fighter Jack Johnson, in the Broadway drama The Great White Hope. The performance brought him his first Tony Award. He also starred in the 1970 film version of the play, for which he received an Academy Award nomination and a Golden Globe. Continuing to work in theater, Jones appeared in numerous Broadway productions during the 1970s and 80s. He had starring roles in such productions as the 1974 revival of John Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men and the 1978 two-man show Paul Robeson. In 1987, Jones won his second Tony Award for his work in the August Wilson drama Fences. Jones also continued with his screen work, sharing the lead with Diahan Carroll in the 1974 drama-slash-comedy Claudine as well as portraying author Alex Haley in the acclaimed 1977 miniseries Roots and its 1979 sequel The Next Generations. Famous for his distinctively deep and rich oration, Jones began one of his most iconic film roles in the late 1970s, providing the voice of Darth Vader in George Lucas' Star Wars, 1977, The Empire Strikes Back, 1980, and Return of the Jedi, 1983. On the big screen, Jones often played strong, authoritative characters. 
He portrayed the villain Thulsa Doom in 1982's Conan the Barbarian, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, and later portrayed a king to Eddie Murphy's Prince in 1988's Coming to America. He then took on the role of an admiral in 1990's The Hunt for Red October, a part he reprised in Patriot Games, 1992, and Clear and Present Danger, 1994. That same year, he lent his commanding voice to the character of Mufasa for the blockbuster animated film The Lion King. Jones continues to juggle a variety of stage and screen roles, remaining an in-demand actor. In 2005, he earned another Tony nomination for Best Leading Actor in a play for his work on On Golden Pond. Leslie Uggams co-starred in the production. Three years later, he played Big Daddy in the African-American revival of the Tennessee Williams classic Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, co-starring Terrence Howard, Anika Noni Rose and Felicia Rashad. Then in 2010, Jones co-starred with a fellow legend, Vanessa Redgrave, in the Broadway production of Driving Miss Daisy. More productions followed, including The Best Man, 2012, You Can't Take It With You, 2014, and The Gin Game, 2015, with the latter co-starring fellow Tony winner Cicely Tyson. In 2012, Jones earned his fourth Tony nomination for his performance in the revival of The Best Man, penned by Gore Vidal. Around this time, he again appeared on the big screen with Vanessa Hudgens and Rosario Dawson in the 2013 drama Gimme Shelter, and co-starred with Peter Dinklage and Mila Kunis in the dramatic comedy The Angriest Man in Brooklyn. Over the years, Jones has received many accolades for his contributions to the arts, including a Kennedy Center honor in 2002 and an Honorary Academy Award in 2011. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences bestowed the award to Jones for his legacy of consistent excellence and uncommon versatility, according to the organization's website. James Earl Jones began his career with theater work in Michigan. In 1955, he appeared in a production of Othello. This sparked the beginning of a career-long involvement with Shakespeare productions, and Jones became quite a prominent Shakespearean actor in the 60s. Jones also began his film career in the 60s, starting with roles in movies like Dr. Strangelove and The Comedians. He then gained recognition for starring in the play The Great White Hope as well as its film adaptation. After more theater work and performances in films like The Man and Claudine, Jones accepted a voiceover role as Darth Vader in 1977's Star Wars, A New Hope. He then reprised his role in The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. After more theater work, Jones starred in a number of successful films during the 80s, including Conan the Barbarian, Coming to America, and Field of Dreams. This string of successful film roles continued throughout the 90s, and he appeared in films like The Hunt for Red October, Patriot Games, Clear and Present Danger, and many others. His voice acting career also advanced during this period, and he accepted the voice role of Mufasa in The Lion King. During this period, he also starred in TV series such as Gabriel's Fire, Roots, The Next Generations, and Heat Wave. Over the years, more TV roles came on shows like Law and & Order, Will and & Grace, Two and a Half Men, The Big Bang Theory, and The Simpsons. Throughout the 2010s, Jones focused more on theater work once again. In 1968, James Earl Jones married his first wife, actress Julianne Marie. Their marriage lasted for four years before ending in divorce. In 1982, Jones married another actress named Cecilia Hart. They had one child together before Hart died of ovarian cancer in 2016. In 2016, Jones announced that he had been fighting type 2 diabetes for much of his life. 